Good morning to all Impala owners and Impala Forum members. Um, I'm Impala LFX 13. I'm uh, living the dream and hope to never wake up. Uh, we're the Saturday, 16 July, uh, early morning. I uh, yesterday I uh, completed the installment of uh, the MagnaFlow uh, Cats. Magnaflow was the first mod I did to my 2013 Impala with the Catback 2.5 inch exhaust. Um, never regret it. Good quality. Um, before I, uh, I we look under the hood, I just want to show you the uh, the factory, the uh, cats. Um, now, to be honest, they're. Uh, they're well designed, or you know, to be to be a little bigger, uh, which they are on the MagnaFlow. Uh, this is the third cat. That's what's under the cat. Um, the MagnaFlow is a lot smaller. Um, the main advantage of the MagnaFlow is the cats itself are uh, 200 a cell per square inch or CPSI and the factory one I know these two for sure are 700 this one looks about the same it's very hard to see let me see if I could there was still light going through it but uh, with the minor flow you basically see through them um, another uh, advantage is the weight uh, there's actually a quite some uh, weight savings here going on uh, see on this one the factory I just want to have the, the front cat the assembly is uh, 3.606 kilogram and the magnet flow is 2.178 on the rear engine the OEM is uh, 3.309 kilogram and the magnet flow is 1.972 and this big puppy here this one weights 3.655 kilograms and on the magnifold is 1.92 kilograms. So in total that's a saving of 4.5 kilogram or for those who don't use a metric system it's 9.9 .9 pounds so almost 10 pounds of weight saving. So that's good and the other main advantage from the magnifold compared to the factory is um, um, the size itself uh, just to give you an example the factory here the uh, the inside die of the bottom of the front cats are 1.8 inch and uh, on the magnet flow is almost 2.1 so that's 0.3 inch bigger here uh, the tubes itself are bigger also on the mana flow you're looking about um, 2.47 almost 2.5 inch on my on the bottom ones on the top ones are a little smaller 2.3 inch but on the OEM uh, we're looking at 1.9 versus 2.4 and um, on the third cat, it's uh, I was expecting this to be a little smaller, uh, but uh, nevertheless, they are smaller a bit from the Magna Flow. Give you an example this the entrance of the third cat, it's 2.34 5 inch, and on the Magna Flow, it's 2.5 so that's a gain of uh, like 0 0.15 inch same thing with before going to the exhaust this one is 2.34 and 2.519 if I measure the inside of the pipe so there are some savings in there uh, oh another uh, point I want to discuss I know um, uh, Will P uh, grounded these factory bongs a while back ago on the forum thread 
and honestly i'm looking at mine and they, they they are well designed like i mean there is a little bong it's hard to see with the camera here but it's it's you know we're talking maybe uh uh, uh 32 a uh, half a one of 32 inch it's very very small like it's there but it's very small and honestly the the, the welds and everything it's well designed for what it is it, it's a well machined piece of equipment i cannot say as much for the horseshoe under the car uh which mine with all the the races i did with him at the quarter mile uh, there is like a little flex hose on the horseshoe and you could start seeing it starting to deteriorate so I will have to investigate this uh, uh, later on see what I can do uh, but the car is pretty low to the ground already and the only down pipes I saw were um, would go under the k-frame which cuts even more the, uh, the how you call it the ground clearance which here I, I I use this car uh, yeah even if I have a lot of cars I have my Dodge and my Z the Z doesn't go in winter uh, I use the truck all year long but I use the car every day also uh, so I I need to do something uh, without losing too much uh, ground clearance because here even it's a beautiful summer day um, the winter is just horrible and by mid-January I get snow banks that's higher than the car uh, if you look at my profile you could see in the garage there's a picture that it's just crazy but it's the price to pay uh, when you want to live a bit isolated from uh, the outside world <laughs> built a house in the middle of five acres land so I gotta deal with that so under the engine uh, Will P already post picture on the forum, but you could cl cl clearly see the the new cat. Um, it's it's a well designed also with Magnaflow. The welds are heavy. No, I would say they're heavy duty. Um, and it's another funny thing. I I know uh, Will P complained to uh, at Ot Exhaust, which I'm happy because uh, the pieces that I did receive. They were amazing. I mean, seriously. Uh, the only thing I did uh, with the um, Magnaflow uh, pieces, I barely. I used. I used a Dremel, and all I did was slightly grind off some flashing cast or flashing welds, whatever you want to call it. Just slightly, like nothing complicated. Just like. like that for a, a few minutes on this one and then the other one and that's it I mean they, they were nice even the bongs inside uh, on the top they were flush and on the back I noticed there was like a little deflector on it uh, where the the air comes in and like that here on this side there was a little deflector and I was about to grind it off but then I realized no because it's 200 CPSI you don't want to uh, maybe it's there to fool the uh, O2 sensor and that way there's no check engine light which I didn't after the install I started I did about 200 kilometers yesterday uh, maybe 150 miles on it so I know the sound will change but uh, I'm curious to see how it's gonna sound this morning so I'm gonna shut the hood and um, let's let's hear this oh. it is louder
So there it is. Um, I will post on the thread all the specification there is need to know, all the the sizes and the weight and everything and part numbers of the Magnaflow. It will all be there for you for you to see uh, in a few hours. It's what nine o'clock, so in about five hours I'll be at the track and I will uh, test the cats and uh, I'll compare to my last mods yes it smells good now like yeah yeah and um, my dog most faithful creature there is uh, so yeah I'll be at the track I'll have somebody who will film and I will uh, tag along the video to this one uh, so hopefully I'll be able to be alone and have a pass it could uh, just here, the, the uh, full Magna Flow exhaust on that car. Again, the only thing that's left stock is the horseshoe and the, uh, an over pipe that bolts to the, the third cat of Magna Flow. So that's all I have for you for now. And uh, cheers. Seven.